the date and location for the Kino wedding is set. And the British are coming. Hogg and Tucent are invited to the Plaza's 50th anniversary fireworks on July 2nd. Plus, there is a rare sighting of the Laughing Lion. Richard Wilk also makes a cameo along with two other vloggers. The official Rocktober vlog premiered on Tuesday night and we got a behind the scenes look at Granny's daughter surprising her and Dice. And there was another surprise during Granny Fest. Rocktober included a slot pole at Cosmo and limo bus ride where Mustache Dave won the pole dancing contest. Rocktober number two is over, but Rocktober number three is less than a year away. Matthew goes on a Vegas vacation, and day one includes a meal that has flatbread with sauce and cheese on top. Bingo. A few dead presidents join the slot gypsies at Bingo. Sarah with an entertaining look back at 21 years in Vegas before she moves to Death Valley with her sister. The question for Rocktober Day 5 is whether Duder does more steps than Matt Wilson. After 13 miles of steps, he soaks in the hot tub. Alice was at Rocktober, and we find out that Mustache Dave not only won the pole dancing contest, but Dave got a tip or two. Kino Kid is a man of mystery, but what is he doing in that mysterious room? Crystal notices that Granny had her own promotion at El Cortez during Granny Fest. Jason and Kaylee are true degens because of their love for local casinos, and they spend day six at Boulder Station, Sam's Town, Green Valley Buttermilk Ranch Casino, and the M Resort. Kid said hi to Matthew, Pompsey, and Norma Helley while going to the Real Bodies exhibit and Opium Variety Show. Chris wears some sunglasses with a built-in camera that looks similar to his regular glasses, and he films his roulette play at the Westgate. This time, Nick walks from his home to the Strip with Melissa, and they eat and drink along the way. Nick shows where he met Melissa, and they actually walk part of the way home. Maddie went to EDC with some friends. Lady Trooper is really close with her best friend, especially in certain parts of town. For day two, Matthew checks out Fly Over Vegas and goes to Bugsy and Meyer's Steakhouse with Donut Bar Joe while also meeting with Norma Helley and Travel Ruby. Derek Steven was at the Vegas Vicky contest on Halloween. Here is the Vegas Vicky that won the $10,000 prize. Among the judges were Johnny Katz from the Review Journal, Vital Vegas, and someone from Yesco, the company that built the Vegas Vicky sign. Andre talks about New Year's Eve events and deals for the nightclubs. Thomas is coming to Vegas in the middle of December and his Christmas merchandise store opened on November 1st. Dan goes to five of the top downtown restaurants. Jason talks about updates for November. A chef, rocker, and vlogger walk into a home. Sounds like a joke, but this coffee is no joke, and Mark is producing the promo video for this new coffee made by a celebrity chef and Rudy Sarzo of Quiet Riot. For tip number 56, Penny's plays some football, but was it tackle or flag football? Did you know that in 1938, saddled horses were no longer allowed in casinos in Vegas? Macho Man reviews a hotel room, and you may want to see an encore of this vlog. The Kinos will be getting married on March 19, 2022, and the wedding will be at the Little Chapel of the Flowers which is a few blocks north of the Strat on Las Vegas Boulevard. The ceremony will take place in the Glass Garden Chapel, which holds 88 people. They will be sending out digital invitations, and the chapel will live stream the ceremony. The reception location has yet to be determined, but it won't be a sit-down meal. Ace goes over the comps at Cosmo with M Life and My Vegas. The Pinball Hall of Fame is getting a new sign on the Strip, and it has the googie architectural style like the Las Vegas sign down the road. Lisa and Drew post a vlog from 2011 that shows the Imperial Palace, and then they post a Monte Carlo walkthrough, also from 2011, 
that is about 25 minutes long. Jay and Kelly talk about scams to avoid in Vegas. JT announced that he will be talking about Las Vegas scams every Sunday at 10 a.m., and his first one is about a local gas station. Dale and Paula check out the Arts District. Jay also talks about Las Vegas scams. Is it scam season? Lad and Lass announced yesterday that they are 16 days away from Vegas. The British are coming. Yes, Matt Bridger has already come and gone, but now an army of redcoats are on their way because today the ban on entering the United States has been lifted. Here are some British vloggers on their way before 2022. And Thomas from Denmark is also coming this year. New York, who happens to be from New York, joins the 5K Sub Club. The vloggers with less than 1,000 subs will be listed again soon. Here is the weekly scheduled live streams. No, the keynote wedding is not your typical vlogger event, but it is an event put on by vloggers, so it's on the schedule. As mentioned earlier, there is only room for 88 people at the wedding, and invitations will be sent out digitally. The reception details have yet to be determined. For those arriving in the next 10 days, there should be no rain and minimal wind. And here is the monthly averages for Vegas with that funny conversion for the international folks.